It's Friday afternoon and I got some running around to do. Got to go get smokes, got to get gas for the G6 because tomorrow we're heading off to Billy's house, Bill's Team X. What we're going to do there? I don't know. I'm just going to go with it. And welcome to my vlog. figure if I pull the G6 up far enough I can just kind of back out and fire off that way leaving the Trans Am where it is except first I was going to pull the Trans Am out of the driveway but you know what that'll give me ample room frigate right on also today we do have flyers nope didn't misplace them this time only problem is is they kind of suck so oh well but uh, other than that we should be uh, good to go today so I got to get gas for the six uh, get smokes and then pack the car so should be easy enough we're gonna chat flash I'm probably gonna drive the six to work tonight because uh, I should have filmed the Trans Am last night guys holy shit there were shad flies on shad flies on shad flies and once I get to the highway though because that's what's fun you get to the highway and you just drop the hammer eh? and uh, just goose it and once you get up to about 70, 80 kilometers an hour, the little buggers can't hang on anymore, so they start flopping off. What's funny is that they do end up hanging on. Their arms rip out of their sockets, and then just the carcass flying in the air. So that's a good one. That's one way of doing it. We used to do that there on the highway, bring it up to about a buck twenty, and just watch them fly off the car. Like when the one year when it was a complete brown, uh, brown fluffy car. First mistake I made was turning on the windshield wipers. So then I was like, screw this noise. And we hit up um, the highway, and I was at a buck twenty, and there just it was like a blanket coming off the car. It was disgusting. But uh, tonight I'm gonna drive the six. I'm gonna get some gas and tour and stuff, and it should be pretty good. And tomorrow I'm using that to go to Billy's. So apparently I missed a barbecue at the girlfriend's uh, work today. I could have went for for three bucks, got a dog and a, and a pop. For sakes, that sucks. For five bucks, two dogs and a pop. You know, it was basically two bucks for a dog and a buck for a pop. <laughs> Uh, kind of sucks. Could have went there and had some lunch, but we got things to do, so let's hammer down. and then uh, head off to the reserve. Let's friggin' do this. Man, this car feels weird to drive again. I don't know why. time I park this car I always reach for the center console to do up the windows. Can you say I'm still addicted to the Trans Am or used to it? All right well I'm at the reserve little trailer outpost here and we'll grab some cigarettes and then uh, we're gonna head her home and get ready for Billy's. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, it's been a while since I've driven the G6, eh? It's been about four weeks or so. So, right now I got it parked in the girlfriend's spot. She's not gonna be home till I leave for work. So I'll bring it with me. And then, uh, go from there. So let's friggin' hammer down. We got some flyers to do, so let's go get that done. Flyers kinda suck today though. We only got three good ones. The rest of them are shit. But uh, we'll see what we get through and uh, go from there. So without further ado, it's time for... Flyer day, flyer day. Gotta look at sales on flyer day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer day, flyer day. Gotta look at sales on Flyer Day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, yeah. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales. So much sales, love the sales. Yeah, I know that song stuck in your head for a week. I apologize. Let's do this. Alrighty, let's start off with Future Shop. Exciting stuff. Amaze your ears and your eyes. Yeah, it looks like they're doing a whole bunch of stereo stuff here. So they got a great big freaking 55 inch LED TV here for $12.99. Apparently it's a great deal. I'll take their word for it. Hey, it's Dad Surround Sound. Right on. I really don't know about this thing, this PSP Vita thing. I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of a good deal. 4 gig Xbox, a couple of games, and the uh, Kinect. That's not bad. That's a pretty decent gateway computer there. It's got a one terabyte hard drive, eight gigs of RAM for 800 bucks. Not bad. Also not bad is this Acer i5 for 550 bucks. It's got a 14 inch display, which is pretty much what I like. It's small, easier to carry. But it's got the Intel 4000 video card, so there's a guy in Kijiji selling this exact same model Mac, uh, Mac Mini for $800. Told me it was on glue. Oh, it's an SSD exactly for a Macintosh. Really? You're dumb. Well, I guess that's Apple's answer, or at least Kensington's answer, to the uh, new keyboard coming out for the Microsoft sur uh, service. And my Acer Iconia just got upgraded to the uh, Android 4.0. Right on. Hey, it's Billy's second cam. 300 bucks. No thanks. I heard this thing does pretty good. I'll have to take a look, uh, look at it on uh, YouTube and see exactly what kind of quality it throws. Flexible tripod for 30 bucks. Sweet. Can't wait for these things to get a refresh. Kind of interested to see what they do. That's the iPod Touch, by the way. A lot of people are saying that they're going to have 3G uh, capability. Cheapest Android tablet I know. And apparently it's capacitive touch, too. The friggin' next book. Just tempted to get one of these for the uh, Trans Am to give me a little bit more thump instead of putting that big ass stereo back in. Walmart has a knockoff version of this fan. Yep, works just as good and. Basically, you can knock that three off the end of the price. I love it how they think this is a deal. This is the regular price. Alrighty, let's check out Home Depot. More savings, more doing. That sounds dirty. Oh, a little freaking hibachi style walkabout charcoal grill. That's kind of cool. Oh, perfect for, perfect for Canada Day that's coming up like next week. Canadian flag chair. This is the weed killer that I use. It's called Path Clear, and it worked really well. But I didn't dilute it. I just freaking gave her. Well, it says for indoors and outdoors. This might solve my amp problem. I need a wheelbarrow. Just saying. A buck sixty-nine per brick. Brutal. Well, I don't need any of you anymore. Right on. Yeah. I should probably do this. I'd probably solve the heat problem in this house. And now moving on to Canadian Tire, which will be our last flyer for the day, because flyers suck this week. Zero gravity chairs. Hmm. Interesting. My uncle has one of these pools, these big ones here, with the pump and all that on it to filter the water. It's actually pretty decent once it's full. I'd like to get one of these, these uh, 
three by eight by six foot metal sheds. One of these guys, just to put the lawn tractor and stuff in. I think it'd be kind of cool. But I think this would be the more ideal choice. Oh, this stuff is amazing for killing grass and weeds. Uh, I got those blades on again. For 10 bucks for a bunch of those um, cutting blades. Right on. Oh, it's a five gallon tank. This is pretty much the same one that Rex has. Sweet. Yeah, I should get Oreo a bed. I don't know if I'd buy this. They spelled plumber wrong. That's pretty cool. It's like an inflatable CD that's battery operated. Kick ass. Now that is cool. An inflatable hot tub. <laughs> Sweet. That's a cool air rifle. Fires BBs and pellets. Frig yeah. Oh, an airsoft rifle, AK-47. Nice. Pushy sucky. Expensive. I love this. It's like 1080i resolution. Why don't you just say 720p for frig sakes? Oh, I've never trust these. Saves gas. Really? Yeah, okay. A lot of you were talking about this stuff, the Rain-X windshield washer fluid for the summer. Pretty sweet. Going for two bucks. Should go pick some up and toss it in the G6, or actually in the Trans Am, I should say. Well, that's kind of cool. It's a four-in-one electronic device holder. <laughs> it's for. Uh... Oh, that's friggin' awesome. Basically, it's for your iPhone, and you hook it in. And it's got a little bendy neck on it, and you can uh, play music from your iPhone right to your stereo. That's cool. Hey, check it out. It's my compressor. That's that friggin' fast compressor I bought. Three minutes, and that's actually really valid. And it pumps up a tire friggin' fast, that's for sure. So, yeah, as you can tell, flyers were kind of cocked, but it's the way she goes. Any hoozle, I'm gonna go for a poop and then go for a cigarette and carry on with uh, packing up the car and getting her all ready. So, frig yeah. Huh, looks like the neighbor here is doing something about his lawn. It's like he laid down a bunch of dirt and seed and he's just watering the shit out of it. Well, I guess he would be watering the shit out of it, you know, if his sprinkler was turned on. But, uh, sweet, he's gonna have a nice lawn to me for frig's eggs. Maybe I need to go out and get some seed and soil and give her. I don't know, just a thought. Well, I gotta poop. Oh, that was good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, Nintendo's at it again, eh? Um, their DS's. You guys remember when they released the original DS? Then they came out with the DS Lite, which was a lot better. Then they came out with the DS, uh, was it DSi, which was the one with the integrated camera and internet capabilities and all that. You could surf, I think, other features. And then they figured, hey, let's make a DSi XL. So they basically put a bigger screen on it and called it a DSi XL. And then now they've decided to make the 3D version, which is the, uh, was it DS or 3DS? That's the one the girlfriend has, the 3DS. And I'd rather play it without the 3D on, to be honest with you but whatever and then uh, now August 19th they are releasing the 3 uh, 3ds XL yeah extra large so they're going with a bigger screen again so what's next you know <laughs> I'm starting to think that's about as far as I can go with the 3ds and personally as far as I can go with the handheld DS unless they add more friggin buttons and joysticks to it oh well whatevs I'm kind of interested in seeing that Wii U but I can just imagine the uh, controllers costing an arm and a leg and your firstborn son because it's practically a freaking iPad you're holding in your hands like it's got an eight inch screen on it you know uh like two thumb controllers bunch of buttons and all sorts of crap and it's like freak apparently you can play the game right on the joystick itself rather than using a television so like let's say you're playing super mario brothers and you know somebody else wants to watch tv on the tv you have your nintendo plugged into apparently you can transfer control easy buddy you can transfer control from your uh nintendo to your controller and use it as a portable gaming system so that's kind of cool i guess i don't know we'll have to see how that thing works out i honestly don't want to buy any more consoles because um let's face it my nintendo wii never gets used my ps3 never gets used and my xbox 360 barely gets used so why bother why are you choking silly doggy but uh i don't know i don't know you be the judge you're gonna buy the next gen consoles when they come out i don't think i will because i'm a big time pc gamer i tried minecraft on the xbox it was ridiculous so freak that noise i'll stick to pc anywho so, oh i came out here to grab my phone i forgot it in the car girlfriend's gonna come home from work tonight and see a great big empty spot here and wonder what the freak's going on all right well i got my phone so i'm gonna head her back inside and i'll talk to you guys in a bit peace out really why you do that Freaking dog.
Alrighty, well, it's like 3.30, time to head her off to work and uh, go from there. So, <coughs> I think what I'm going to do first is go to uh, Subway, because I haven't had a sub in a while, and get a Subway. That should be pretty freaking tasty. And then uh, we'll rock out from there. So let's hammer down. Alrighty, I got myself some Subway. I'm gonna head her off to work. Just testing out the iPhone's GPS system here. That's nah, not as good as the one on the Android, but whatever, it'll work. Not like I needed to get the Billies. It's literally three roads to get there, you know? One highway, and another highway, and another highway, and you're at Billies. So anyway, I'm gonna head her off to work and I'll talk to you guys on my break. So uh, peace the frig out. Alrighty, well, first break of the evening. And uh, yeah, so far it's been a pretty busy night. Obviously I'm prime, so uh, there's only one other guy working with me and it was Pretty crazy, pretty crazy indeed. Uh, what the hell? Oh, don't tell me the friggin' G6 has an oil leak, or oil leak, or gasoline leak. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Doesn't smell like fuel. Huh, I don't know. I don't friggin' know. Doesn't smell like gasoline, though. Huh. Oh, this thing's hurting. Kinda pisses me off, you know. It's 2005. I'm surprised that uh, it's uh, not in worse shape than it is, but uh, got a little bit of rot on her, like right there. I'm gonna have to clean that up. I'm watching a lot of Pissers channel there, so I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. And got another little chunk sturdy here. So I might have to bug Pisser to get an idea on how to fix that. But uh, I have an idea of just masking off the plastic or maybe I'm just removing the mirror completely and then I can do the whole panel. I don't know, pretty dick. All bottom of the door is starting to rot. Pieces of shit right down here by the rocker. Look at that. Yeah. Yep, make cars out of cheap metal and that's exactly what they do. But if you notice over here, I'm not too bad. Well, the guy who's here who's cleaning our uh, carpet right now he drives pretty much the same car but his is a 2009 so mine's four years older than his if you look right there on his door it's starting to do like mine looks like that was already fixed at one point in time if we come over to the other side of it oh it's gone now he must have cleaned it judging by that trail there looks like he cleaned it because yesterday he had a great big sanded patch right here because uh, obviously the dog ears on these cars take a lot of sand beating and just uh, the paint peels right off. So I'll have to do some body work on mine. Also got to do brakes on mine. Well, I probably don't have to, but uh, I'm going to check them there and get them done. I haven't done the brakes on that car since I bought it in 2009, which is currently 2012. And the cars are almost three years old. As of August 1st, she's three years old that I've had her. And I've never done the brakes on it, so I should probably get them at least looked at and get those done. Or do them myself, whichever. You know, I've never done brakes before. Well on a new car with ABS. I've done them on my old Tempo, but I had help when I was doing that. But, uh, my buddy Angry Joe said when it comes time to do them, just give him a call because he knows how to do that shit. And he'll walk me through it, so right on. Apparently brakes are really easy though, but uh, I'd rather have somebody there who's a little bit more, you know, skilled in mechanics to help me out. In case I get into a snag, because no, my luck, I will get into a snag, because frig, that's what happens with me. Well, I was going to rain X my window. Oh, sorry. Uh, I rain X'd the G6 window in hopes that we get some rain because I want to see how well it works. <laughs> so I just did the front windshield for now. I should have done the back one too, just for funsies. But uh, we're going to see how well that shit works. It looked pretty hazy when I put it on, but it dried up and now it's transparent again. So frig it. Yeah. Just another brilliant day in paradise. Tomorrow we're off to Billy's bright and early in the morning. I'm going to try and leave the house at 7 to get there for 10. He's got no burials all weekend, so... Just, we can just friggin' have at her, do whatever. If we do a live show, we'll try and put up a notice bright and early. <coughs> like if it's pissing rain, because uh, I don't know what the weather's like down there. But usually when I say it's storming up here, it's storming down there too, so. Eh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens and go with it. I know he said he got some big juicy steaks for dinner, so that's pretty kick-ass. I like big juicy steaks. So, right on. And yes, I'll be crashing the night there. Crashing at Billy's Saturday and coming home Sunday. So we'll have to see what kind of hijinks we get into and just freaking go with it. But anywho, I'm going to head her back inside and carry on with my night. And uh, I'll talk to you guys on my lunch break. So, peace the frig out. Oh, nothing says awesome like a cigarette after doing modems for two and a half hours. Well, yeah, about two, and a, two hours, 15 minutes. Well, since I got back from my last break, that's all I've been doing is dicking with modems. Uh, basically, the boss wants us to uh, clean up and test and repackage returned modems making sure they're still functional so that's basically all i've been doing and uh it's actually kind of tedious it'd be a lot easier if there was more people on i remember when we did with the dsl modems we kind of formed an assembly line one guy would test and clean one guy would uh label and uh oh what the frig was it and document the modem in the spreadsheet and the other guy would pack and tape so you could sit there and just pound through modems like like freaking super fast and it was awesome but when you're on your own right you, you got to do all that on your own so 
that kind of sucks, but oh well, you know, just, just get her done. I remember when Bruce and I worked a weekend, uh, we had about, oh God, there's over 300 modems there that we had to test and categorize and dead or alive and Oh man, so he'd be testing them like initially, and then uh, if they were dead, he'd just mark them as dead, and if they passed the power on self-test, then he'd put them in a pile for me, and then I'd be testing them on the computer to see if they would connect, and then speed test them. So <laughs> I had both of the DSL connections upstairs, the uh, in-house and the resale uh, going, so we'd be, we'd be testing two modems at the same time while he's like doing the power on self tests, and we cleared through 300 modems in an eight hour shift, and it was freaking awesome. But that's all I've been doing tonight, just freaking around with modems. Sucked. Oh well, let's get her done. Uh, I think in August, one of the projects I'm going to do is body work on the G6, get that all done. I was talking with uh, the, the, the other G6 I showed you in the last video, or last clip, I was talking with the owner of that car there, he was upstairs trying to clean the floors that haven't been cleaned since like 1904 trying to get them back to white told him to take a bottle of Javex and spill it on the floor and let it sit for a week that'll get them white but uh, I asked him because yesterday I noticed the car the whole dog ear was was rusted right up I was like do you do body work on your car and he goes yeah I cleaned it up today and I was like oh I said yeah it's something to uh, something to piss me about hey eh? those freaking dog ears in the car especially if you do a lot of traveling the, the wind and sand on the highway and shit just nicks a dog ear and rips it apart and he's like yeah I just went to H.E. Brown got him to color match a couple spray cans the rest Pisser calls them buzz cans, I think, and uh, rattle cans. I've heard that term before too. Rattle cans. So that's all I ever use. Friggin, I don't have an air compressor that can do uh, spray gun. So why bother? I just mix up a couple spray bombs and huh, dragonfly massacred. Just mix up, mix up a couple rattle cans and. Uh, freaking get the job done but for my car it's just, it just looks like surface rust so I think that's all I'm gonna do is uh, get some rattle cans get some of that etching primer that he that uh, pisser uses there pisser's channel and uh, clean it up and then just freaking have at her I'll grind it all up and then prime the shit out of it paint the shit out of it clear coat the shit out of it hopefully the shit looks good when I'm done I don't know probably won't probably look like ass but whatever just got to get the job done and make it look pretty make it last uh, three years down and uh, two more to go. Stupid 61 payment plan on that car. Freak sakes. Oh well, it's gotta be down there soon. And, and uh, I don't even know what the friggin' loan's at right now. I should call uh, Scotia and find out. But uh, I'm gonna head her back inside because I haven't eaten yet. I just really needed a cigarette. So I figured I'd come outside, have a cigarette, talk to you guys as you know what's going on. And uh, can't wait for tomorrow. Can't wait to go to Billy's. It's gonna be awesome. Gonna be friggin' awesome. Hopefully we get a lot of cool video footage, do a lot of cool things, and uh, all in all, it's freaking cool. So, but I'm going to head her back inside, and I will talk to you guys on my next break. Or I might come out again during my lunch and talk. I don't know. I do a lot of talking. You guys already said that. It's just the way you go with the vlog. You talk a lot. Anywho, we'll, we'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Alrighty, well. It's uh, 10.30 at night or something like that, I don't know, 10.15 or some friggin' thing. And uh, surprisingly enough, the shads are not as bad tonight as they were the other night. Probably because it's still it's a little bit colder out tonight. Which will be awesome for sleeping. So we managed to get a bunch of modems done, bonus, and uh, just been chilling out and stuff. Something I haven't uh, talked about was uh, the big Microsoft announcement on Monday. Microsoft announced their new tablet, the Microsoft Surface. Friggin' beautiful. What a nice device, that's all I gotta say. A lot of you are also probably wondering, Adam, where's the Northern Tech video on the new YouTube layout? You're supposed to make that. Sorry, kind of forgot. <laughs> but uh, no, I didn't really forget. I just got busy last night and other things and just didn't get around to it. But I'm hoping to get that done and uh, sent up the YouTubes tonight, depending on how late I stay up because... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go to bed right away when I get home. Probably not, but we'll see. But uh, friggin' mosquitoes are bad tonight, that's for sure. That's why I keep wiping my face, keep getting attacked by ah! mosquito got my arm. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get some sleep tonight, but it probably won't happen, so tomorrow will be just like uh, the last time I went to Billy's, going down on no sleep. But at least this time here I don't have to drive back, so that's a bonus. Oh, friggin' mosquitoes just ripped my face apart. Oh well. But, uh, yeah, the new Surface, they got a lot of cool features on that. Like with the Windows 8. I actually kind of like Windows 8 on the tablet. Looks pretty cool. But uh, I don't know how it's gonna, how it's gonna work for PC. Probably like shit. But any hoozle, I'm probably gonna do a video on the tablet, but I like to actually have a tablet, do a review, review, uh, review on. A lot of people, like, all they did was take pictures from the uh, presentation and then talked about it, but can't really do that. Better to have hands on so you can show stuff. Any hoozle, I'm gonna shut the video down here, guys. I'm getting eaten alive. So if you like today's, ah, freak sakes, if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. Leave them in the comments section below. Uh, if you wanna get a shout out, you know what to do. 
send me a letter. Post office box is in the friggin' uh, description there. Have at her. And until next time, guys, keep on blogging. This is the truck that'll never sell. It'll just sit there until it rusts to hell. It's a GMC Sonoma, but it's not worth the money he's asking. So it's gonna sit there forever and ever and ever and never sell because this is the truck that never sells. Okay, you know the song, I'm out.